Thank you. Third prize, a bronze medal and a check for $250 goes to Paul Dietrich of Chicago, Illinois. All that means to me is you got robbed. Now you got to get ready for San Francisco, right? The Hillman competition. You are going to send him a cassette, aren't you? What is the point? Well, what's the point of not sending it? If I can't do any better than placing third in Cincinnati, what am I wasting my time for? The Hillman is the Super Bowl, right? So, what is the point? The point is that Lowengarth told us you were the best pianist for your age he ever heard. What was my age when he told us that? How many dollars ago was that? You shouldn't be working, and you know it. And you wouldn't be if it weren't for me. This has got to stop. Childhood is at an end. Therefore? Therefore, I have made a decision.
and I have to be fingerprinted. Come on, you run into a little bad luck in Cincinnati. If it was meant to happen, it would have happened by now. Oh, now we're into astrology. standing out there? Is he going to work? Yes. First of all, I want you to know that I really did make this application. I mean, I sent that in even before I went to Cincinnati. Now, I want you to understand I will be back before the personal interview. I have to take one last shot at competing. The Arabella Hillman competition in San Francisco. No cattle call. You submit a cassette, and if... You are ready and afraid, like any virgin. Who's a virgin? Sorry. It used to be a compliment. Greta, they want... Poignant, searching, surprisingly strong, and a little simple-minded. Sounded just like you. <sighs> Is that sort of thing done? All the time. Congratulations, we made it.
I need a single for a week. Yes, sir. Tada. Oi, Titi. Это только наш багаж, дорогая. How you doing? I'm Jerry DeSalvo. You one of the 12 apostles? I'm here for a piano competition. That's what I meant. Me too. I'm scared out of my tiny mind. How about you? Hey, you know how I learned to play piano? This fag in the House of Corrections. He heard me fooling around one day, so he made me take lessons. You don't want to know how many times I got stomped. It looks like I came a long way for nothing. Tell me you're not entered. I'm entered. You're so bloody good. And I'm here. It's crazy. You're so gifted. We all thought so. It's nice seeing you again. I hope... Your concentration, even a little bit, is no good. Joni, you have no time for her. Anything that eats into your concentration, even a little bit, is no good. Shut up!
Rudko. I'm truly appreciative. No, if you use it up. Are you sure? Mr. Humphrey's room. One minute. Don't get up! Tatiana! I'm gonna try this one more time. We do know each other, not well, but we played two piano at the Tangled Festival for an hour. You went to my recital and I went to yours. Now it occurs to me I hadn't come to terms with my first name. I was going by my middle name, Joan. Everyone called me Joni, which is what helped me come to terms with Heidi. Uh, let's see what else. Oh yeah, you played Gaspar de la Nuit and Franco Maneri said it was magical. And if you're thinking, oh, I see Did I what? God, forget it. Have a wonderful day. Did you have an itch for me? Nope. It was Marshall Goldman right from the start. Not a chance. I think you did, and I think you possibly still do. <laughs> you see?
They're ready. And now, I uh, would like to introduce our principal conductor, Mr. Andrew Erskine. Ladies and gentlemen, we will announce the six finalists, as per tradition, alphabetically, place of origin first. And please withhold your applause until I've announced all six. Contestants, when I call your name, please join me here on the stage. Now from, oh, we begin with a real tongue twister. From Semipalatinsk, Kazakhstan Autonomous Socialist Republic, USA. Baronova. From Chicago, Illinois, Paul Dietrich. Born in Wilmington, Delaware, currently residing in Venice, Italy, Michael Humphreys. From Montreal, province of Quebec, Canada, Mark Landa. And finally, from Newton Highlands, Massachusetts, Heidi Jones Schoonover. Ladies and gentlemen, the finalists. As we begin this business, I'd like to make a small apology. This method of selecting the order in which you play in the finals is one that was begun by my predecessor. It's highly inconvenient for the orchestra, but the uh, Philharmonic Association believes in magic, and I cannot persuade them to abandon the ritual. Now, my No doubt you've all heard the story about the two conductors. First conductor goes. Who got number one? Excuse me. What concerto are you playing? List, E flat. I'm number two, if you pardon the expression. Saint Sans. The Brahms first. Well, if nobody's dying to play the Chopin E minor, I'll settle for it. Well, the Mozart D major. Oh, the Prokofiev third, I'm still juggling. I am number six. And I am also planning the Saint-Saëns. Whoops. It's a good showcase, especially if you're playing last. Yeah, position in life is everything. Almost everything. But I'll tell you the truth. I am the over-anxious type. I, I, I just as soon play the first night and get it over with. So unless you're emotionally wedded to the second spot, why don't we swap numbers? Then you can have the Saint-Saëns all to yourself. Yeah, okay. And what will you struggle along with then, Mr. Dietrich? I'm gonna try the Emperor again. Again? Tatiana would like to give her love and best wishes for success to all of you. And ours to her, madame. Picked out a piano yet? They only got four to choose from. I've got to decide on the concerto first. Hey, see this? You were very straightforward with the reporter, weren't you? Why'd you stop hey. at reform school, huh? Why didn't you hey. tell me you were the son of Sam? I didn't say nothing about reform school. He drew his own conclusions. I said I was in trouble when I was a kid. Liar! Well, how does it make the rest of us look? Hey! All right, look. I'm trying to find...
Nice face. It was like Beethoven was showing me a way out of the ghetto. <coughs> Wait! Wait till your Uncle Frank finds out he's been living in the ghetto for 30 years. Would you guys be quiet? I don't want to hear this, and neither do the damn neighbors. Hey, you. Hey, keep that door open. Hear what I said. Get your feet off the what sheets. Hell of a picture. It's great here. Look, I got an article. Nobody else did. Oh, hey, what does check and pass mean? It means I was in trouble. Yeah. I made it up. You, you did it. say you went to reform school, didn't you? Hmm? Want nothing to do with you. She's frigid. Almost immediately. Oh. I asked Josephine Rinaldi to go to the semifinals, and she called me the minute your name was announced. I thought you might like to see a friendly face. Now, let's get you packed. Where are we going? Josephine has a huge studio. Two pianos and five beds. She's led quite a life if it comes to that. Anyway, it's ours for the duration. Formidable. Nothing at all like he is on television. He's a shit. Maybe that was the word I was searching for. Three and Thank you. Thank you. She brought everything from New York. This is a temple, Heidi. God, I hate that name. It sounds even worse in here. She told me the way you played the Wallstein made her forget her sciatica. She said that? Ludwig von Beethoven taught Carl Czerny. Who taught? is standing here staring at me in her Jordan Marsh mix and match. You shouldn't smoke. If we lived in a world of sanity, no one would even expect you to start concertizing until you were in your late 20s so you could keep studying and enlarging the repertoire and deepening as a person and growing up to be a national treasure. But if you waited that long, no one would ever book you. They want you fresh out of the egg or not at all. They must waste 500 good pianists a year that way. We will try to see this does not happen to you. It's wonderful, but all these middle register keys need voicing. The pianos will be... Do not let me rush you. I'm not letting you do anything. Just sign here, please. Is it absolutely necessary for you to stand over me while I'm making this selection? I'll be more than happy to wait outside. Thank you. All you have to do is ask politely.
I'm leaving. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I see you stop juggling. You're gonna play the Mozart. Parents having a good time? I suppose. Are you studying with Greta Vandermeer? I was when we first met, too, remember? <laughs> Never mind. May I ask you something? Sure. Were you really planning to play the Saint-Saëns? There is nothing terribly wrong. It's just that you have to have blinders on when you prepare for one of these things, that's all. Why would you want to cry? Mr. Dietrich, have you decided? It doesn't seem to be anything tricky and think, Mr. Dietrich? I think that that is the wrong approach for this ensemble. Have you spent a lot of time with Beethoven, Mr. Dietrich? I mean, was he an old friend? Of Well, then, come on. Prove your point. We're all waiting.
Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. the carnival ma magazine. Eh? You must hold her arm very still. Do you understand? I understand. Yes, it is definitely an emergency. I'm sorry, sir, but there's a man to see you. It's important. Wait, wait, wait. Exactly what is the nature of the little girl's illness? Well, there isn't much information at this point, but it's some kind of nervous affliction, I'm Couldn't told. Couldn't be much worse than ours. Now, you key yourself up to give one concerto on a given evening with some... We will, of course, be picking up your expenses from now until the end of the finals. Hey, I don't know what we're staring at each other for. It's done. Let's make the best of it. And the extra time to get ready, there is that. Time does not mean the same thing to me as it does to you. And if you're not ready now, you have no business being here. You don't even get a chance to see the finals. Well, we're obviously not bringing you any luck. And I have a wife. I'll get her. It's time, lady. What are you going to do? 
What can I do? I'm afraid a kid gets better in a hurry, I guess. About the job, Paul. I'll try and stall them, I suppose. It's getting to be quite a gamble, isn't it? Winning a competition that may never take place? Or withdrawing right now? supposed to make this trip and he is not supposed to go back to work do you want it any simpler than that what do you mean exactly he is going to die if he doesn't stop soon and when i say So all those bees should be. No, you know I know. All right, I'll put it aside. Work on the Mozart for half an hour, and then we'll get some sleep. Why do we keep working on the Prokofiev? Just in case. Now there's time to change your mind. The orchestra's up in it, too. They played it with Ashkenazi two weeks ago. And you should always have more than one concerto ready. Question any manager will ask you... till the spring collections came out. Uh -huh. Greta? What? Why are you always in such command? Mainly because... Uh, is, jo is Heidi at home? Don't take the chain off. Yes? Can we talk? I haven't seen any evidence of it so far. I was very rude. Try again. I'm sorry. He's a finalist, too. Uh -huh. You think 
think we could go someplace and have some coffee or a drink. Anything you'd like. Anything I'd like. Why? I don't think I'm ready to answer that just yet. Okay, on one condition. You come by car? Yes. I want a driving lesson. I'm sick of not knowing how to drive. I've never had time to learn. We're postponed at least a week. I want a driving lesson. It's been raining. People don't drive in the rain. Okay, sure, you got it. I have a spare key. I'll be okay. You can tell he's a careful driver just by looking at him. You ride? <laughs> no doubt you ride. I've ridden. And the instructor told you to think of the horse as your legs. Well, think of the car as your horse. The instep is beginning to seize up. It's perfectly normal tension. Just relax. You're doing fine. Should I try a turn? Sure. Why not? Oh, my God! What do I do? Just keep a light touch. Oh, keep a light touch on the thing. Light touch. That's it. That's it. That's it. You're doing fine. You see? Keep it steady. Just relax. You're doing all right. It's going to level off at the bottom. It looks a lot worse than it is. Don't make a right. the way I'm shaking? That's perfectly natural. Jeez! What? How can you be so gentle and soothing when you're doing this and such a down, cold bastard when you're rehearsing a concerto? It's the same guy. Oh, that's pompous. neck and don't ask me to explain that I know what I mean you okay well yeah because now I feel like you're staring at my neck put it in park I'll pray. Well, you want to go someplace and talk? Well, actually, I don't want to talk. I just wanted to be with somebody. Somebody. I wonder what time it is. Want to go home? No, I was just wondering.
nice. I want to be here with you. I want to be as close as we can get. But I don't think we should make love. Does that infuriate you? It comes as a great relief. Teardrops on my boobs, great country western standard. <laughs> Do you feel like talking yet? <laughs> Less of a difference between the reward and the punishment. I stood there and I looked at Gary. Nineteen years knocking at the same door and he ends up explaining octaves to a bunch of kids who don't really want to be there. I started on the cello. I had a real feeling for it, too. My brother was supposed to be the pianist. What went wrong? It tickled. What? I said it tickled. Not my legs, either. for if not that.
takes a bit of getting used to. But it's sensual, don't you think? More modal than serial. I'm beginning to hear it. Just relax. I haven't been answering your telephone, so I... <laughs> What's on your mind? Tatiana is not making a great deal of progress. Well, that would seem to be that then, wouldn't it? One week from today, I must begin rehearsals in Salzburg for Magic Flute. Menzies arrives here Monday to guest conduct my orchestra and five concerts. Now, uh, surely it's obvious, even to the Russians, that we must begin the finals this coming Friday. Yes, they understand it. We've had a small breakthrough. You know where the old lady is, don't you? Oh, there's no major effort to find out. It was kind of sad. She didn't want to leave the kid that way, but it was her only chance, and she'd been planning it with her relatives for a long time. She feels very bad about it. And so? She's willing not to seek asylum officially or make any public statement whatsoever. If what? Well, if someone she trusts can arrange a meeting for her with a little girl so she can explain. This may not work. Do they know that? They'll take what they can get. The main thing is there's no uh, Balshaya scandal. <laughs> you feel like Scattergood Baines? Sure, why not? A little effort, and we didn't blow anybody's life to hell and gone. section. What? Sure. See, you don't know everything. It happens to be one of the most famous forehand passages in 18th century music. Pick it up right here. Symphony Hall. Well, I'm not denying you two look very sweet and old-fashioned together. 
You're right. As much as I hate to leave this gorgeous instrument. Well, thank you very much. Or this one. I better get down there. Couldn't we just... I don't think you can rehearse two separate concerti at once, Heidi Ho. Have you uh, heard anything more about the finals? No. We start tomorrow night. With or without the Russian kid? With or without. 27 hours from now. There's a press reception scheduled at the Hilton at 8.30 tonight. Symphony Association's trying to atone. So, get your story straight. Everybody knows my story. Then change it. Will you pick me up? Yeah. You okay? Don't I look it? Don't fence with me. I get enough of that from Greta. Look, it was a turkey job. Doesn't mean a thing, and you mustn't... Mustn't let it eat into my concentration. Exactly. God, you're so smart. Plan to miss me? Well, that would likewise seed into my concentration. <laughs> Don't look at me that way. I do plan to miss you. I just can't do that until I go. We got through the Mozart. Heidi Ho. Do you know what a step it is for him to even make a dumb joke like that? My little wonder worker. Why were you playing what you were playing when I came in? To cheer him up. Have you ever heard of competitive edge, in which one looks for ways to dislike one's opponents? This is not an ashram, sweetie face. This is a battleground. Messy ones, the irregular weaves. If you have an itch, God knows I understand that. What's wrong with that punk from the Bronx? He's got a super body, and I'll bet some notion of how to use it. Jerry, he'd be okay. Why? Because all you can tolerate right now is an implement, a human vibrator. That doesn't count as infidelity. I'm lost. Infidelity to that! That! is your first husband, that you, you marry it the way a nun marries Jesus. You cleave to it because it gives your life a center that no man, that very few men can possibly give you. Least of all, a rival for the thing your life is centered on. Do you know, do you have any idea what a drain that can be? It's no drain at all, damn it, Greta. You're wrong for once. If anything, he doesn't take enough from me. He Fortunate than ourselves. No. Everybody's got a story. We are not going to hear mine. Gary? can play full out if I hedge my bet, you know? It just struck me. If you have something to fall back on, you're gonna have a tendency to do just that, fall back. You wanna know the truth? I feel like I just lost 100 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Circle is complete. Not quite. Yeah, I guess our little comrade is exed out. Wonder what the matter is. Well, there are rumors, you know. Such as? <laughs> to hell with it. Now listen up, everybody. 
Undoubtedly, the organization is going to throw some sort of festive celebration after all of this is over, right? But undoubtedly, it's going to be quite boring. So, you're all invited up to my apartment for another party in honor of the winner, whoever he or she may be. much for the Hillman. I'm glad there was nothing riding on it. Well, at least you're talking. I was beginning to... Paul, would you please slow down? Listen, I am serious. What is wrong? Back up the truck. If there was ever a fair shake at this competition, it has been blown away now. We have been manipulated into some supporting cast for this neurotic little kid. <sighs> She's under a terrible strain. How terrible can it be if she's performing tomorrow night? You don't feel anything for her? <laughs> oh, I feel something for her, all right. Oh, that's competitive edge, isn't oh, it? Oh, you make it sound just like the clap, you know that? And shut up! Oh, super. God damn clowns. Paul, for God's sake, open your hands. Your hands, are you crazy? Look. I'm angry. You've seen it before. Exactly. Angry enough to get me raped. Remember you had a girl with you when you got out of the car. You're talking yourself into this. Nothing can mean that much. Right now? Nothing else means anything. And if you don't feel the same way, why are you taking up space? Am I standing on your neck, too? What I really think is that you are ashamed to admit how much this means to you, and what I really think is that you're lying to yourself, that that is something for a shrink to be concerned about. I just don't have the time. No, you haven't. Okay, in the long run, what does this damn misbegotten competition have to do with you and me? What do you mean, you and me? <laughs> what does you and me have to do with anything? I 
seem to have walked off my appetite. I'm out of your way, I'll catch a cab.
Mm-hmm. Hot stuff. Here we go. You actually let me buy you a drink. He was something, wasn't he? You mustn't let that worry you. Hey, it doesn't worry me. I don't expect to win. I was shocked out of my gourd to make the finals. Look at I know I'm not fooling anybody. I can play one stinking concerto at this point. And if you want to know the truth, if I did win tomorrow night, I'd be in a hell of a mess. You can't exactly build a career on the Sansans concerto. Not even Sansans could do that. Then why are you here? Because from here, I can maybe get where I want to go. All right. You might not think so, but I'm good looking. And this is our time. De Niro, Pacino, Travolta. De Salvo. Yeah, but De Salvo can play the piano. want to pull out, don't you? Greta, if I didn't have to face you, I would. Oh, no. I will not be responsible either way. You get not a curse or a blessing from me. I am the teacher. It means so damn much to him. What does it mean to me? Don't ask the teacher. Oh, yes, there will be. Next year. And next year there will be another one who's older, desperate, more deserving. Always. Until it's your turn to be those things. And then a 23-year-old man will step aside for you, won't he? Of course he will. Because life is always so equitable. I'm just not in the right mental state to play. Something's missing. And it was not stepping aside. I don't have a chance you heard him play. Morning. So it is. She's not here. You expect her back? 
She was gone before I woke up. You did yourself proud. Thank you very much. I don't mean last night, Sonny. Oh, yes. You were splendid. I don't know where Lowe and Garth keeps finding them. Hold it. You don't mean last night? I mean you did a masterful job of eliminating the only serious competition you have. Don't worry, she'll play like a lox tonight, if that's what you came to check on. If she told you anything about me at all, you couldn't believe that. I don't operate that way. She may not believe it. I don't have any trouble. Then what the hell do you think you're doing? Making some grand gesture? I'm not scared of you, and I'm not worried about you, so don't do me any favors. Is that clear? It's clear. I won't do you any favors. Okay. Oh, Christ, I did not come here to tell her that. You know you bring out the worst in me? I came here to tell you that I am a liar. I realized it this morning when I woke up and you weren't there. I am a liar about you and me and what all that means. Wait a minute. No, 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 no. I don't want to wait about anything. That's all I've been doing is that, waiting. It began to happen. Like that morning on the steps when you yelled at me. I mean, let's face it. Nobody looks that good in direct sunlight. So it's not like you're such a knockout. But you stood there, reading me off, and I could see the blotches on your skin and the discoloration under your eyes and tiny hairs in your hey! head. And none of it mattered because I wanted you so much I couldn't make a fist. I wanted to climb inside you and pull you around me like a blanket. And now I know that that is more important than this damn misbegotten competition. Let me finish. Great. If I win, better. <laughs> and if neither of us wins, then the hell with it, but the corporation goes on. And I wish to hell that I could have answered you like this the night before, but I just wasn't seeing straight. So I lied. I'll never lie to you again. And if you think that that was easy. Are you waiting for a yes or no answer? <laughs> now I drive you back so you can practice. Wait a second. We have to have a plan. I mean, if one of us wins, there'll be a week and a half before the Carnegie Hall recital, right? What if we were to take part of that time and just disappear, get to know... important as we should do it, shouldn't we? To hell with everything else? You're right. We'll do it. I love you.
Come on. Where are you going to be? Where do you want me? I don't want a technician. I want another piano. The whole middle register on this one is uneven, and you know it. I need some time to think. I'll be back. Now, calm down. This sort of thing happens. This one didn't have to. Now, cut the crap and get her another piano. The one I... Why is it silly? Look, I am not running a course in music appreciation for beginners, am I? The Prokofiev requires almost a totally different orchestral set, different instruments. I know what it requires. More brass, more strings, and more percussion. Including cat... It costs extra to carve schmuck on a tombstone, but you would definitely be worth the expense. <laughs> the Prokofiev.
so I'm going to dispense with a speech. You know, each of you, how promising and talented you are. Third prize, a bronze medal and a check for $2,500. Two, Michael Humphreys. Silver medal and a check for five thousand dollars to Paul Dietrich. Ladies and gentlemen, the first prize of this year's Arabella Gretsch Hillman Memorial Competition, consisting of a check for $20,000 and two years of concertizing in 50 centers of culture throughout the United States and Canada, is awarded to Heidi Joan Schoonover. I couldn't stand not being alone with you just now. God, I'm glad it's over. I didn't realize how tense I was. Also, they're crazy. You played rings around all of us, but what else is new? At least the fix wasn't in. The corporation took the gold and silver. Michael got the bronze. Boy, I bet the Russians wish the cello didn't tickle my nose. So, we should go to Michael's and get wiped out drunk. But first, let's make the plans. Let's make them. I mean, I know I said Vegas and the Cape, but I... Yes? One of the things that makes a world-class pianist in this world is a launching like yours. And yours? You got the silver medal? <laughs> oh, I'm being stupid. There's no way you can't be disappointed, and here I am expecting you to be nothing but happy for me, and that's idiotic. I'm happy for you, Heidi. Please... Let's just get past all this and back to the corporation. I mean, it, it was only this morning, don't you remember? Or was it only because you were expecting to win? You said you'd never lie to me again. I'm not lying to you, Heidi. Paul, please. Please what? Be with me. 
How? Suppose the positions were reversed. Would you or would you not say to me, Heidi, the money is there, and if you travel with me, there are contacts to be made and agents who will hear you play and a future for both of us? Would you or would you not? I might. Well, what's the bloody difference? Paul, you knew that I could play. No, I didn't. never crossed my mind that you could be better than me. Okay, I still say they were crazy, but if what I did seemed better than what you did, it was only because I had you with me out there. Last night when you played, you were alone. Isn't that even more of a reason? It's just that I don't know that I could handle the idea. It could poison everything. It would seep into my playing. And bed. And everywhere else. You haven't a clue what you're about, have you? Paul. I am in need of a strong man now more than ever. Which is exactly what I'm trying to be. Trying to be? God, for nearly a week I threw myself at you like a group. For the first time, you cried. Do you know what a compliment that is? It's all... Paul, you're the strongest man I've ever known, and you're strong enough for this. This is silly. This is your night. It's our night. Oh, no, there are some things that aren't meant to be shared. And this is one of them. Don't cheat yourself of that. Now, you get yourself together. You get over to Michael's, and you revel in it. And you? Oh, I'll be there. I just have to call my parents. You won't be there, you bastard. You're going to run out on me. Oh, Paul. It would have been a hell of a lot easier if the cello hadn't tickled your nose. Paul. Ladies and gentlemen, number one. Yeah. It was fair. It was as fair as these things ever are. I'm leaving right now. Kiss him for me. Bye. It's aleatoric rather than motive, but I'll play it for you tonight. Oh, would you care to dance? about a million years to develop Grant's Gazelle. 
You've got about a century to wait before evolution produces the man you have in mind. So in the meantime, get out there and dance with what there is.